Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters from YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Uh, you know, we live in a country where laws are literally being passed every single day to sanction sin. I mean, we live in a country which champions itself all across the world, all across the universe, um, as if they are the epitome of righteousness and morality. Yet and still, we continue to keep seeing a decline in morality in our society on an unprecedented scale like never before. Uh, we're seeing our children getting worse. Um, uh, we're seeing the, um, you know, the, the the TV programs, the movies and stuff. It, it's all but, it leaves nothing to chance. Um, but, hey, it's, it's amazing when you have people who say that they believe in the Most High, when they can turn around and agree with the, the, the so-called laws of this land and then disagree with the Father, with, with the Bible. You know, the, you know, American champions itself as being a Christian nation or at least following biblical principles. But when you really truly closely evaluate and you look at this country, you look at the system, it's satanic to the core. All you have to do is just be willing to use a little bit of independent thinking, do some independent research. You'll come to find out that 99.9% .9 of the things that you thought was true were only true because you agreed with what they said the truth was. Not because you've done your own due diligence and you've done your own research. Simply because you agreed. And when you agreed with that system, the system, no matter how immoral and unrighteous that it is, that whatever they pass in a law is the truth, when you agree with this system, this system that is mammon, you are disagreeing with the Most High. So anytime you agree with the government, you are in direct opposition with the Father because the Torah is diametrically opposed against the laws of this land. And we're watching people today clearly come out and tell us what master they are serving. And I say it again. The Torah, the law of the Most High Yah, is pretty clear. It's pretty clear, cut, and dry. But I'm watching these religious spirits of today as trying to pass themselves off as if they are Israelites or believers in the book. I'm watching them deceive the simple-minded people. That's the reason why I'm on here making these videos. Because when I make these videos, what happens is the eyes of your discernment, they begin to open up. Not these natural eyes right here. You begin to see things that you never have saw before. You know, same way that an evil person will use um, false speech, slander, tail bearing, falsifying um, uh, information, speaking lies. Um, when they tell you something, your eyes are tuned in to see something that you would never saw before. It doesn't mean it's right. It's just now your attention is drawn into it, discernment, and now you're focused on it. And because you accept what they say, meaning you made an agreement with it, all of a sudden it becomes the truth to you. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth, but it becomes the truth to you. And once it becomes the truth to you, you start operating out through your book of the law. This is the age-old process that's going on in the world today. The reason why it's all jacked up is because rather than people agreeing that this book is right, people go about to define righteousness and truth under their own terms. Uh, and most people give themselves a pass. While it's real easy to put forth the finger to everybody else, it's even harder to sit and look in that mirror on a daily basis and see you for who you really truly are. Like I said, our government sanctions sin. It is passing sinful laws that is against the Bible, against the scripture. And you're, you're watching these people who say that they are believers today agree with the government and find themselves in total disagreement with the creator of the universe as a law that was handed down by Moses, his servant. I hope I said something to stimulate your thought. I want you to be encouraged. I do want to continue to help you to think. So you pay attention to these people who quickly disagree with the Bible because they hear something they don't like. When you hear something you don't like and you are immediately opinionating, you give your opinion, you're telling the whole world, well, I ain't going to say that. You're telling informed people, people who know what the Bible says, exactly who you are. And that's the truth. And that's the truth straightway. Shalom.